Pulmonary function testing is an important topic in the field of respiratory care. This means that our respiratory therapist must be familiar with lung volumes, airway resistance, lung capacities, and the gas distribution tests that look deeper into these parameters. That is exactly what we are going to talk about in this quick video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. First and foremost, what is a lung volume? A lung volume refers to the amount of air within the lungs during a specific phase of the breathing cycle. The four lung volumes are tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume, and residual volume. Now you may be wondering, what is a lung capacity? A lung capacity refers to the amount of air within the lungs during a specific phase of the breathing cycle and is a combination of two or more lung volumes. So for example, the four lung capacities are vital capacity, inspiratory capacity, functional residual capacity, and total lung capacity. For example, if you were to combine each of the four lung volumes, this would give you the total lung capacity. Moving right along, what is airway resistance? Airway resistance is the measurement of the opposition to airflow that occurs as air moves through the airways of the lungs. Airway resistance can be calculated with the following formula. Peak inspiratory pressure minus plateau pressure divided by the flow. So essentially, it takes the pressures within the lungs and the airflow to determine how much resistance there is in the airways of the lungs. So now let's briefly talk about the gas distribution tests. Gas distribution tests are used to obtain a measurement of the absolute lung volumes during a breathing cycle. The three primary types are helium dilution, nitrogen washout, and body plethysmograph. For the sake of keeping this video short, we're going to dive deeper into each of these tests in separate videos. However, one important thing to remember is that they can all be used to measure a patient's residual volume. And just as a reminder, residual volume is the volume of air remaining in the lungs after a complete exhalation. Since the residual volume cannot be exhaled, this makes it difficult to measure, which is exactly why these gas distribution tests are important. Again, this video was designed simply to provide you with a quick overview of this topic. We'll be breaking it down into much more detail in future videos. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.